our craft fair, the Lahaina Civic Center. However, it is, well, there's no shows going on today, right? Not until June, I think. But normally we'd be turning right up there and heading up to work. Right by the post office. By the post office in Lahaina. Yeah, it's a really nice venue. You get to look at the ocean and pleasant breeze. Yeah, that is a really nice one. And it's indoors and outdoors, which is nice. We're always outside. It starts at 9, goes to 4, but better to get there before 4. Better to get there before noon, I say. Like, yeah. It's best in the morning time to hit that show. All right, here's our little nest. We always like to get right on the fringe of shade because Michael kind of likes the shade, but I like the sun, so that's our compromise. Looks nice. So this is Airport Beach, and it's just above Kanapali. Just above, as in just north of. So I'm not actually taking the day off entirely. I do have a little bit of work to do. So I have some photography that I have to do on a project that I'm working on. Um, nothing to do with YouTube, but it is, uh, it is a project that I may um, let you guys in on down the road a little. If it works out, we'll see. Um, otherwise, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get photographing and I'll see you guys in a bit. Body moisture, solar body moisturizer. <laughs> Instead of calling it sunscreen. Here's Devita Solar Body Block. This is my current favorite sunscreen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Another knee here. I'll, I'll do what you're doing. I'll put half on. <laughs> I'll put half this one and half this. Okay, right side for me is Aubrey. Okay. Right side for you is Devita. Yeah. So just on the other side of those rocks is Kanapali. So that's Black Rock out there. And Kanapali stretches around. It's very calm out today. Like when we first got here, there was kind of a cool breeze and it felt really nice, but it seems really calm now. I love it. Maui is spectacular. Okay. Here, let's take a look down this way and let's see. What's going on? There's Molokai, cloud capped. So this is actually where they have another craft fair at the Westin, but it's on what Fridays and uh, Fridays, I think. Yeah, Wednesdays yeah, and Fridays. Fridays, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, not in the park here, but down here at the hotel. Yeah, they put so. up a big tent usually. I think. Yeah. All right, now we're coming down to Kanapali. I'm looking for some photography shots, so I'm gonna try here. There's the Maui bus. How much does it cost to ride? A dollar. Or did they bump it? I think they bumped it to two. Two dollars. Yeah, Maui used to not have any bus system at all. When I moved out here, it was hitchhike or, well, save up for my Maui cruiser, which I finally did, but before that I was having to hitchhike, which I do not recommend, by the way. I'm just saying that's what I had to do back in the day. Now there's a bus system, so now you don't have to do that. <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna have to park in Wheeler's Village parking garage because it's full everywhere else. It's Sunday, so it's pretty busy. Do you know, uh, did you put my sun hat in the back maybe, or did I bring that? Sure. What not, about your uh, cover up here? Oh, this is from Jeans Warehouse crochet cover up. I just went to put on my favorite uh, beachy kind of lip stuff, my Revlon creme brulee. I forgot it was all soft and it just like gooed all over <coughs> my mouth. <laughs> Here, use my sleeve. Oh. <laughs> That's from a Cheech and Chong movie. What did you end up improvising to get that excess goop off? Nothing. It's perched on my finger right now. I'll find the napkins. <laughs> so, uh, you want to photograph first or do swatches first? Uh, I'm going to go out and see if we can photograph. Okay. You know, it's a new appreciation for photographers and what they go through to get the shot. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of elements that go into it. Yeah. So 
so we're just roaming around kind of poly right now collecting shots it's nice in the shade we haven't got to take you guys to lanai yet we'll have to do that isn't that cute they have little little twiglets of sugar cane planted in the middle of this one there's like miles and miles wow. of it on the other side not as much as uh, what Queensland. No, though. Queensland wow. is the winner on sugarcane. I've never seen so much sugarcane in my life. So we're heading back the other way. We'll go back down to Whalers Village. And then, oh, before we head out of town, I would like to stop at the Jeans Warehouse on this side. Done. Okay. There's some pictures that I want with people in it, and then there's some I just want just, you know, totally pure beach. The birds. You want the birds to belly dance? Yes. <laughs> See, it's doing a belly dance. You mean when it lays on its back, you're calling that a belly dance? Yes. When, when it has its belly in the air. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, All right, we just left Ross, and I didn't get anything, but Michael got something. What did he get? He got flamingos. Every time we come into Savers, there's at least one other swap meter in here. Costco, we always run into tons of swap meters and Savers. Ross too, actually. Yep, Ross. You know where all the good deals are is why. Yeah, the thing that, since I'm a complainer, I'll tell you, that noise of the screeching metal when people are moving oh, the hangers. The hangers. Oh, I can't block it out. Two bucks for a pineapple. Two dollars. you believe that? Oh, you know what? You should grab it. one. Plus, I can always grow the top. Again? Yeah, again. Is it, I've got is that a good one? Growing. It. It's got the center. Yep, that's good. Not that it matters if it has the center or not, but if you want to grow one, they really take off nicely if it still has the center in there. Um, if it doesn't have it, it's okay because they'll start growing out the sides, uh, like the new plants, and you can get like multiple, you know, new blooms growing on it, which is kind of cool. All right, so now what do we end up with? We did end up getting the grapefruit. The grapefruit. Yeah, those are just too good to pass up. And then we got some rambutans, I love those avocados for Mexican food. A couple of containers of blueberries, our salad, cheese, pineapple. Ooh. It's looking at it's me. It's looking like it wants to box. <laughs> Good morning guys. Good morning bird birds. Okay, I'm feeding these babies. Let's see. There we go. So, let's sprinkle it out. Alright, here they all come. <laughs> They're mad because I was late. Today, I'm starting off the day with papaya and nectarines and a nice big glass of water. Hey guys, we're at Down to Earth, we're having lunch. We just got a burger, Down to Earth burger. It's really good, take a look. We're also testing these chai samples. Okay, that one's the original, I think. It's really spicy, it's so good though. It's from this brand. Michael got a little button. And then this one must be the one that he... It's a coffee blend. Oh, that one's really spicy. The cardamom. Clean K at the mall. What is up? 
Please? They have the new one that does coffee, the espresso machine. Oh, how is that? So they were sampling it, the girl and whipped one up for me. She's like, are you looking for a new coffee machine? I'm like, no, but I'll take the sample. I'm good. And you know, the new capsules, like I say, they make coffee. Which is a better so idea. So that's different than what you have. It is. They have this new capsule that looks like a dome, and it, she said it spins, so it uses the, all the coffee grounds better. Oh, uh, see, Michael so, is so a there's a broader spectrum. Yeah, I like coffee a lot. He's in you guys and that is the old uh, building where Maui hair and body used to be that's where I used to get all my nail polish so sad that they went out of business they closed that store right such there. a bummer wait where right here right here working on, yeah. right between Jamba be juice and subway is gonna be a Sally's beauty so that and they're working on it oh boy I'm so excited I'll have a new place to take you guys it's Friday so traffic is starting to get going here for the weekend. Hey guys, I'm in Habitat for Humanities, the ReStore. I love this section. I love looking at all the tiles. Oh, here comes Michael. I'm asking how much these are. There's like a box of, I don't know. This box. There's only like three of them. Karen's is the three bucks a sheet. Are they? Okay. Yeah, so that's the last three of them. Last three. Plus, well, plus, that um, this, this count. 25% off. Okay. Do it. Getting that one too? Yeah, do it. What's Michael's outfit of the day? Costco shirt, uh, Costco shorts, Costco underwear, Costco socks, <laughs> and Sports Authority running shoes. Okay. How's that haircut treating you? He shaved his head. I shaved it. It yeah. feels good, but I guess uh, I don't get a passing grade on it. Well, he snuck into the bathroom the other night and did it without my consent. It Not that he needs my consent, but you know, I really like his hair. It's really all it comes down it. to, so I kind of miss it. Let me luck. see. Oh God, it feels like a hedgehog. I don't know. I've never <laughs> felt a hedgehog, but our hedgehogs kind of cute. Like yeah, they're kind of cute. Well, <laughs> I don't know about having a hedgehog on your head, though. <laughs> Okay, I'm wearing my Sabres sweater, which I match my booth display. My necklace is House of India, which is pink so foxy. Belt is from Forever 21. Shorts are from, what, Sabres? Bracelet. Yep, okay. yeah. Bohemian Beach collection. Clark shoes. Uh, mosquito bites. <laughs> this is a quarter, or a coin that I thought was a quarter. I found metal detecting. Okay. It's actually a, like a token for the game store. And what are we going to do with that right now? We're going to flip it to decide if we're going to Guatemala or Philippines. All right. Okay. Wait, so heads is where? Heads is Philippines. Philippines, okay. Okay. Philippines, here we come. Hey guys, I just got home and I have to feed my birds. My wild birds. I'm put a little food down here on the driveway. And then a little in the bowl, because I got little birds that like to eat in the bowl, and then my ground birds that like to eat. Oh, holy cow, I didn't even see you there. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't startle you. Here. Okay, so I'm pouring the food out, but usually it takes just one bird to put out the call, and then all of a sudden they're all like over here. Okay, there we go. See, they didn't get breakfast because we took off early this morning and I didn't feed them before we left. So right now I am editing a video, a vlog video, and this is my lunch. 
I always start by building my salad and thinking, oh, I'll just have a little salad. I'll just put it in a bowl instead of like a regular size plate. And then I end up like with a mountain of stuff in there. I don't know, somehow it always works like that. But I have a bed of baby spinach on the bottom and then I have a whole layer of like half of a giant cucumber in there. I have one whole avocado, one whole tomato. I've got some different um, little bits like uh, carrot and I don't know, what is this, Swiss chard or something? Um, broccoli, which I love broccoli. And yeah, we've got like a mix, oh, um, peas too, like. I don't know, sugar snap peas or something, they're in there too. Uh, basically, I have like a bag of stir fry that we get at Costco and I just reach in, grab a handful, so it's like all just like a mix and I just throw that on top of my bed of spinach. I don't have any dressing. Um, sometimes I just like to have a sprinkle of, or like a kind of like a splash of lemon juice on my salad. And then instead of doing like a thick, chunky dressing or like a creamy dressing, you know, I will just use like spices or like herbs on my salad instead. So I've been using this Bragg Organic Sprinkle 24 Herbs and Spices seasoning. And let's see, the very first thing, I like how they list like different ideas for what you can use this for. Very first one is salads. So this is awesome on salad in case you have never tried it. It's really good. And then I have um, a nice ice cold glass of water because after I work a morning out in the sun and heat, you really have to keep hydrated, so this is like my number one thing as soon as I get home, grab a big glass of water. And then I put a little splash of lemon juice in that too, just because it, I like the flavor and it just, I don't know, it's kind of like cleansing for your body, so it just kind of feels good and refreshing. And my computer screen just turned off, so I've got to get back to work here.